Sally is an architect who creates a blueprint of a rectangular dining room. The area of the actual dining room is the area of the actual dining room is 1600 times larger than the area of the dining room on the blueprint. The length of the dining room on the blueprint is 3 inches. What is the length of the actual dining room in feet? So there's a couple of really interesting things going on here. They give us the dimensions on the blueprint in inches. We want the actual length in feet. And then they tell us that the area of the actual dining room is 1,600 times larger. So they're not saying that the scale of the blueprint is at 1 1,600th. It's going to be something less than that. And let's think about what that scale is going to be. And so let's just, let's just, pra- let's just think about some different scales. Let's say I have something, let's say my, Let's say that my this is my blueprint, and this is the actual reality of the dining room that we're thinking about. Now, if and my blueprint is let's just say one by one, just just for the sake of sake of argument. Now, if this was a one by one uh, a square, and we increased the dimensions, we increased the dimensions by a factor of by a factor of two. So we increased it by a factor of two. So it's a two by two square. What's the, what's the area going to be? Well, this area is going to be four. This area is one, this area is four. So you notice that if we increase by a factor of two, it increases our area by a factor of four. Or another way of saying, if we increase our, each of our dimensions by a factor of two, we're going to increase our area by a factor of four. If instead we increased our are each of our dimensions by a factor of three, by a factor of three, this would be a three by three square, and we would increase our area by a factor, by a factor of nine. So notice, whatever factor we're increasing the area by, it's going to be the factor that we're increasing the dimensions by squared. So let's just think about it that way. So they're telling us that we're increasing the, the area by 1,600 times. So actually, let me just clean this thing up a little bit. So one way we could imagine it, if our drawing, if our drawing, drawing did have an area of one, which we can't assume, but we could for the sake of just figuring out how much we have to, what the scale of the drawing is. So let me clear all of this here. Let me clear that. So. The area of, of the actual dining room is 1,600 times larger. And so if, this, if, the, if the drawing had an area of 1, then the area of the actual dining room would be 1,600. So what would I have to multiply each of the dimensions by to get an area factor of 1,600? Well, if I multiplied this dimension by 40 and this dimension by 40, we see 40 times 40 is 1,600. And you might say, hey, Sal, how did you figure out 40? Well, the 16 is a big clue. We know that 4 times 4 is equal to 16. And so if you gave a 0 to each of these 4s, if you made it 40 times 40, then that is going to be 1,600. So this information right over here tells us that the scale factor of the dimensions of, of, the, two, of, of the, the lengths, I should say, that that scale factor is 40, that would result in a scale factor for the area of 1,600. So that's a good starting point. Now let's go to the actual dining room on the blueprint. So the actual dining room on the blueprint doesn't have these dimensions. We just use that to figure out the scaling factor. The actual dining room on the blueprint has a length of 3 inches. So maybe it looks something like this. And they don't give us any of the other dimensions. So we could even imagine a 3-inch by we could by two inch, one inch, whatever we want, but we could even imagine it a three inch by three inch, three inch by three inch square. They only care about the length. Now let's multiply both of these by a factor of forty. And we only care about the length here. They actually say what's the length of the actual dining room. So let's multiply it. And obviously this is not drawn to scale. Let's multiply this times a factor of forty. Times a factor of 40. So 3 times 40 is 120. 3 times 40 is 120. And this, of course, is what we're referring to as the length. Now you might be tempted to say, OK, we're done. This, it'll be 120. But remember, this is 120, this is 120 inches. 120 inches. 
So what is 120 inches in terms of feet? Well, one foot, one foot is equal to 12, 12 inches. If you were to multiply both of these times 10, we, we know that 10 feet, 10 feet is equal to 120 inches. Or another way you could have thought about it, you have 120 inches divided by 12 feet, or divided by 12 inches per foot is going to give you 10. So 120 divided by 120 inches, let me write it this way, 120 inches divided by 12 inches per foot is going to give you 10, 10 feet. So that's the actual length of the dining room in feet.